what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd Alright, so Hey guys, we're in a new episode of Talk of the Town And today we have a special guest God, block work Face all and shit, we outside, man So, we're gonna play a game I'm gonna ask you questions First thing that come to mind Celebrity crush Damn Nicki Minaj Okay Describe New York in one word Hectic Most underrated Me One sentence for your ex One sentence I ain't gonna lie Thank you for making me go hard I ain't gonna lie I needed that like, Um, Which rapper would you not let date your daughter If you have one I ain't gonna lie Blueface This guy's a pimp Favorite one hit wonder Hmm Favorite one hit wonder Oh I ain't gonna lie Designer He's definitely a one hit one. I fuck, fuck with him. <laughs> fuck with him. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, um, worst song ever? Oh my. Nazi BK. Like, his whole catalog needs to get put in the garbage. Like, somebody trash that. Like, or I got breath for you. You could trash that. You got one Guys, song, though? It's like, what, like, the Jada song. The song he made about her? <laughs> that was terrible. Like, he tried to pull his heart out and it just went wrong. Okay. What are you most lazy about? Mm, nothing, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't lazy at all. So you're excited to do everything. 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 Yeah. Too much is never enough of. What's that supposed to mean? Too much Meaning is. like. It's like, what could you never have too much of? Money. Okay. Girls, music, clothes, a lot of stuff. Okay. Food, weed, there's <laughs> a lot of stuff you could never have like enough of. Last thing you spent money on? Uh, probably some food. Yeah. And what Talk of the Town award should you be nominated for 2023? I ain't gonna lie, most energetic. I feel like I'm not energetic. Oh, definitely most underrated. Because, like, come on now. It's me. It's me. It's Blocky the G. We know. I'm mad underrated. Like, where? You feel like you're the most energetic, though? I ain't gonna lie. I definitely got a different type of energy to it. Like, when you listen to my music, I feel like you just hear it different. Even when I didn't. Do drill Like you still feel my shit So I feel like you definitely Could feel some type of energy Coming from my shit every time Okay Okay Cause you know Niggas say like You gotta be screaming and stuff Or just have like, mad energy in your shit. I feel like the screaming shit Is played out I don't feel like you have to scream To be energetic I feel like it's just Your cadence And how you tone it You feel me like You don't gotta be so Rah 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 And be like everybody else is You feel mm -hmm. me I just try to stick to what I know how to do in my being myself. When do you feel like you got into like what's your sound? I guess I would say that's a piece my son thought. Like after my son passed, I really started like locking down and kind of like going back to the old shit I used to do and piecing stuff together. And I just figured out like what my main focus and what I'm trying to do with my music is from there. So, yeah. Okay, and then I guess what. What you say was the like, so was it before him or after him? After. After. Yeah. Okay, so in finding a sound, working with different people, how did you go about doing that? Um, I kind of now, before I used to do a lot of music with anybody, kind of everybody, I would mm -hmm. say. And now I kind of just go about doing music alone because I feel like I'm best alone. So, like, I kind of heard songs by myself, but I feel like I would have never be been able to make this song with somebody else because it's like when you're doing a song with somebody else you're following their lead or they're following your lead so it's kind of like I just wanted to work on myself learn how to build myself as a character as a rapper first before I try to go do any type of features and shit so are you cool with features right now you ready to jump back in there or what do you think definitely I ain't gonna lie it just definitely depends I feel like my music it, it changed now so I definitely need somebody that's gonna like come with that shit like we gotta be on that shit bad enough. I can't smoke you on the feature like for sure. Anybody from New York or yeah, not nobody really? A couple people from New York, but I say majority is not from New York. From New York. Anybody want to shout out? Mm, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out my moms, man. No abortion. We here. Like, facts. I'm talking about like anybody. <laughs> you wanted to say it in I'm, music? No, yeah, like anybody from New York that you fucking with that you don't mind name dropping or out of town that you fuck with that you can see y'all working lie. together. Um, Sleepy Hollow, okay. Stunner Gambino, JR, Ice Spice. For me, it's a couple people out there. Like, and then what me. about Out of Town? Out of Town, I like Lil Critch. I think that's Kodak artist. A couple, like, 
Miami niggas like GMK. I fuck Will with Tyler. Young. Will Tyler. Yeah, I fuck I like the Miami sound. I like they wave that's coming up right now. That shit fire. Okay, okay, okay. So, have you you been on TikTok or not that much? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I'll say, yeah. You, they talk about you often on TikTok. Yeah, that's why I kind of stay over there. <laughs> I be blowing my shit. So they be on TikTok like, oh, your plan finally worked. Do you feel like you had a master plan, or do you feel like it all just kind of? I want to say I never really had a master plan for real. It kind of just like the way it looked to them is that's what it looks like. But in the in the really in the end, like I just been said this shit. Like I don't see me being like the orchestrator of none of this shit. Everybody chose to make the decision. It kind of just planned out how I said it was. So I didn't have a plan, nigga. It was just I'm not gonna say I manifested it or didn't manifest it, but I seen through niggas and niggas wasn't for me. So I just put it out there. You feel me? And look, shit now everybody beefing. It's kind of sad, OG Shit. now, but everybody is me. Um, so like, what do you see for the future? Like, what do you see now? Since you clearly have the master plan, what do you see for the future? I ain't got a future. I'm just gonna keep my foot on these niggas. Next, keep dropping music. I'm about to really get on some album shit where I start pulling out like multiple albums. You feel mm -hmm. me? And just like keep giving these niggas a new like sound to my shit because I feel like I could do everything. Like, word. like I'm outside of drill. Like, I'm a real artist. I feel like we haven't yet to see, like, a drill artist ever reach their full potential. Yeah, I feel like everybody, they they get there, and then they do either some dumb shit, or niggas ain't really, like, hungry enough to keep going, you feel me? Like, shit weird. It's that. It be cops, we're losing people to death, like, I smoke, you know, I see it. Full potential, so it's like, it's kind of hard to, like, yeah. you know, where do you think drill gonna go? Do you think drill gonna die out, or you feel you still see it going? I, I feel like drill can kind of die out, but... It might be here forever. Shit, this shit spreading everywhere. It's like no say so now. Like everybody's doing drill everywhere in their own little way. So it's kind of spreading like across the whole world. Like niggas in Africa doing drill. I seen a nigga no, Chinese like, nigga do drill. Like, so I don't see Chinese. this shit dying out no time soon. Mm -mm. But I feel like a lot of the, the younger people are getting lit now. Yeah, definitely. They paying attention to the younger people who are doing it because it's like it's watered down now. I was saying they're looking for something to like kind of make it interesting more. And I guess, like, the youth is doing it, you feel me? They believe in the youth. It's whatever. Mm. Do you feel like the youth was inspired by y'all, or do you feel like it's a mixture of us and Chicago, or you think it's some whole new sound building? No, they definitely inspired by us. Just knowing that we from here, and they from here, mm -hmm. so it just kind of makes it like, damn, we could do this shit too. So I definitely see them being inspired for us, so we just got to make that, like, better. Like, they, they looking at us for the wrong reasons, but we got to make them niggas want to be us for the right reasons. So knowing, like, people are looking up to y'all, like, how do you go about, like, you know, making your choices now? You got a fan base, then you have people, you know? I kind of try to move more smarter with, like, smart with the stuff I do. Before, I used to be loose and just, like, not really care because I was on the streets and, you know, running around in the hood. But now, as music is changing my life, and it's, like, more of a career for me. So I kind of just watch the stuff I do, knowing that little kids run up on me and they know me, you feel me? I'm influencing them because they love my music. They listen to you, you feel me? So... I just try to move more professional, business-wise, as a grown man, even though I'm 19, and just show niggas that it's bigger than drill, you feel me? It's a little different. So, that's definitely in person, but what about on social media, though? I ain't gonna Because you be posting stuff. <laughs> you be going there, bro, so, I like... Go. I ain't gonna people get me there, though. That should be just, like, out of emotion. Like, sometimes I don't even be thinking, but from... Before, like I would say a year or two years ago, I definitely been cutting down like slowly and slowly. Like I could see myself like I mean, I don't never see you doing, doing live it. as much ever. Yeah, definitely. No more live, <laughs> no more like direct post anymore. Like it's just if you know, you know, like you don't really tag people OD like you used to. Mm -mm. I mean, I guess progression slowly. Yeah, a little slowly. You feel me? <laughs> Soon I ain't gonna be even worried about them at all. And that's what I'm trying to work on work to get into right now. You feel me? I'm just trying to get to where I it's just me versus me. You feel me? Do you be posting shit and be like, damn, they caught that too? Yeah. Cause they be catching me. Hell yeah. Sometimes I just be posting stuff to let them express how I feel. And I'll be like, damn, shit. Please don't like all types of pages. Be worrying about it and shit. That's why I realized, like, damn, we got to chill. Like, for me, everything is televised. Like, How do you feel about please don't like? Some people like them, some people don't. Uh, I don't really like them as a page. I say they put too much negative shit out. Like, if they put an even amount of positive shit out, then okay, but. 
they always on some negative shit. Like, they don't post when I do something good. I mean, I ain't going to say that. No, I mean, I say that. Because when they fans see me, uh, we taking pictures and stuff, they post that sometimes. But they choose to post the negative stuff more than the positive stuff. So, mm, I ain't feeling that page that much. But I ain't down with nobody hustle. If that's the way for them to win, shit, I keep mean, going. Please don't lie. People just tune in, so I guess. Do you have any page that you, like, OD fuck with? Because you was tagging all the pages, including <laughs> us. And was saying that we don't fuck with y'all and we're quote unquote blackballing y'all. So how are you feeling about blog pages now? No, nah, I ain't gonna lie, I've been showing more love now, nah, definitely. Definitely, especially so I don't wanna say I don't wanna say too much, but y'all not the only page that I felt like that before. That's why I let it be known. I felt like everybody was just like circling me into not wanting to do anything with me because of certain situations, but I don't know. Fuck with this page. You know I fuck with every single page who posted me. Thank you, but I appreciate it. You feel me? Thanks. I feel like, I feel like, um, we're not going to catch everything that artists do. So mm. I feel like just even just putting that out there. So, you know, when we do catch y'all, I feel like, I feel like you can't expect the page to catch everything you do. Yeah. Unless you send it to them every week. Yeah. Which you're not. So again, like, you know, we catching it as it's, you know, as it's being as talked about. Going. Yeah. But um, so overall though, you say you fuck with pages, I fuck with you. Nah, yeah, you just gotta go viral more, man. Go viral, you ain't got no other choice. You gotta post it. Type shit. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, you now have a new team. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> got rid of your old team. Go on. I am curious to see how did you even get with the old team. I ain't gonna lie. Whoa, 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 with the old team. Yes. How I got with them. Yes. Shai K. Oh. That's the only reason. That's the only reason I was cool at far, for real. I ain't gonna know. But, like, even when we was doing shit, he wasn't really around. So, how did y'all become... Because Shai K put it in my ear. Like, at the time, we was cool, you feel me? He put it in my ear. I was his manager at the time. He was telling me about, yo, come fuck with this nigga, too. He put it in my ear. And when he stopped fucking with him, it was kind of too late to already back out, you feel me? Was you conflicted in like the split? Mm-mm. Nah, I was. I had nothing to do with none of that. None of his business. No, I mean like when when you and Shaw was still cool before that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, was you conflicted in the split? Like when you was already locked in, but he still your man. Was it conflict? Mm, nah, I wasn't at all. He knew. He knew because he like I said, he put it in my hands. So you feel me? He knew. It's not oh, like so I got he up and said, "Yo, I'm interested." Yeah, word facts. Okay. And, like, leaving the situation now, how do you feel about it? I got feel better as an artist. I, I feel, like, open-minded. You feel me? I, I could express myself more. I got a better team. I'm not going to try to, like, sit here and throw dirt on them. You feel me? They doing what they doing. Whatever. You feel me? I'm just trying to do what I got to do. You feel me? I don't got no type of nothing against them. You feel me? Bro, no. You feel me? We had a positive conversation when we... Like, we cut off. We ended it there. It wasn't like we left on from, like, no beef shit. Like, yo, when I see you, it's lit. Like... I got problems with they artists, I stay artists, you feel me? They grown men, but for me, I'm just trying to grow and just do me. I feel like niggas be on that black bullshit, and I'm just not with it, bro. On um, on TikTok, people be saying, like, they kind of, like, copy just sound and stuff. What do you have to say for that? I feel like it's just like a... Once you get to a certain point, you an influencer, bro. So you're like okay with it, I guess. Yeah, it don't matter. If if you know if. Uh, yeah, that's a fact. That's Wait, how do you feel though? Do you feel like they copied your shit or no? Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. I thought he was gonna say no. Hell yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Not all of them, but only one specific person. But you feel me? I feel like yeah, that shit is that shit shit corny, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't paying homage. Like right, if so you pay what? homage, it's different. So what, like, what's the copying? Is it the cadence? Is the flow? Is it the beats? Like, what is the copying? It's everything. Like, when I came around him. When you dress, like, everything? When I came around him, this nigga was a good kid. He was a singer. He didn't do drill. And then after hearing me make songs around Shai K, you feel me? This nigga watching me every stew session, you feel me? So he's low-key in his head trying to figure out how he can do this, bro. And he started doing it, bro. Look how this kid sounds, bro. People be sending me his shit, talking about, yo, this you, black work? Like what the fuck, bro? Shit, crazy. Do you um are you more protective now on how you be creative? 
I ain't gonna lie, hell no. That's what God put me here to do. I'm an influencer. These niggas are gonna copy me regardless. I'm switching it up every single day, so you just gonna have to keep up, bro. If I for me, keep up, bro. That's it. Okay. And then, like, um, so, so you basically just saying you're gonna keep switching it up. Mm hmm. But what do you think you'll do else besides drill? Like, what do you see you transitioning to next? Are you into the Jersey Club shit or not? Not really. Yeah, hey, I fuck with the Jersey Club shit, but besides that, I really wanna, wanna do some, I really wanna. I don't want to shift off from drill too much. I want to keep the beats, but let's diss them, you feel me? I don't really got to say niggas' names, make it more mainstream, you feel me? And then stamp it as, like, some hip-hop shit, you feel me? Like, I don't want to just leave that genre. Like, I feel like niggas be talking about niggas' names too much. That's what makes it drill. Like, smoking this nigga man, doing this and that. If you just talking regular, you expressing your feelings, you opening, using melodies a little bit, you feel me? Make that shit hip-hop, nigga, you feel me? Okay. And then, like, I feel like... People name drop. Sometimes it be responses. Sometimes yeah. people be starting. Do you feel like you're like done responding? Like if you hear your name saying you over it, or like it has to be a certain point, or like come on, we're growing here. It has to, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It has to be to a certain point. Like all the petty stuff and shit. Like I ain't really about to respond to that. But like I feel like if it, you're taking it there, you might get a response out of me. To, like I'm not dissing everybody, but if I feel like it's worth it. I do it. Cause like right now in New York, I feel like a lot of people that are coming up are kind of like trying to like name drop to get with it. I mean, it's it's a way to do it, but shit, you don't gotta, you don't gotta do it. Like I, I got, like you have to. I got songs without this and people who like. No, not you. I'm saying like I'm, the people upcoming. I'm just they saying, might try to diss you to get your attention. Like, do you ignore those people too. The reason I do it is to show them like they copy all the wrong things I do, but when I do something good, they don't want to copy that. Like, you feel me? I'm doing a good song to show y'all. Like, you could do this too, brother. Here you go. All right. But, I mean, we can't give all the slack to this and because D&D was a diss and that shit did numbers. You know? But it was a discreet diss. Nobody knew it was a diss until we told y'all. Niggas thought that was D&D on your phone. It was just, like, obl like obliterated. But when we told people that it wasn't. Okay. Did you feel like it was... You wanted to tell people... <laughs> If it, you think if you would have kept it discreet, it would have kept going. What do you think? Nah, I feel like the song would have kept going. Period. If we was on, if we was on, like, if we was friends or some shit, yeah, we don't fuck with each other. We don't promote the song anymore. I, he probably does. You see me on his end, but I don't promote the song. So when did the disconnect start happening? Because I was very confused. I'm not going. One day, this guy just woke up and I just seen a live, and he was just like ranting about me, and I was mad confused. I'm like, yo, this guy is crazy. But ever since then, I just, like, figured it out. You know, it's cool. I don't, it don't matter. Shit gonna happen. I'm gonna see him at the top, you feel me? Facts. But what if y'all just arguing, like, two days ago? Or you mm. posted, posted y'all DMs or something? Yeah, he's, like, a goofy guy. Like, he He's a goofy guy. He's a jokester. He's funny. And, um, so you, like, so you over at this point? Mm. Do you feel like I could ever make up? No, nah, no, nah, no way. No way. No way. You don't feel like I could talk it out? Mm-mm. I feel like I could never talk to him in person. Like, it's too much that's been said out of his mouth. Like, he took it. He crossed the line so many times with me. Like, it's over. So, so, but we will never get a remix to that. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. And, um... So, being in the spotlight, though, do you feel like you have pressure, like, in responding to people and kind of, like, clearing the air? Because, like, people are like, oh, you fuck with this side, you fuck with that side. And I feel like fans kind of make up their own narrative. So mm -hmm. how do you go about that? I feel like it's best to just let them keep trying to, like, figure you out, you feel me? Like, I don't really try to, like, fuck with none of that shit. I just do me, you feel me? People going to gravitate to me regardless, like. I ain't really trying to do shit for the people at the end of the day. I listen to my fans. I know what they want, but still focus on doing myself. So, like, how? what's your status right now with Sugar Hill, though? Are you cool with them or? And, uh, yeah, I fuck with it. It's no, it's no problems, you feel me? I wouldn't say we the best the best friends again, you feel me? But it's a high and buy type shit, you feel me? We ain't really on that. Niggas just getting money now. Uh, are you, like, proud of them? I guess seeing them go up and stuff? Hell yeah, definitely. I be speaking to the bros, you feel me? All of them, feel me? See the little bros go up, D-Dot, DD. I speak to all the bros. Make sure niggas is, for me, in the right headspace because mm -hmm. same shit I go through, niggas go through, you feel me? 
we lost niggas, bro. That's just that's what brings us together. Nobody really realized that if it wasn't for us losing together, we wouldn't be like how it was again. You feel me? People see the shit from the outside and just think a nigga be like dick riding these niggas when it's real talk. Like we be outside together. Like this shit is crazy, bro. The reason I we started music. And we just try to keep it pushing for bro. Everybody know that. You feel me? Everybody know that. And I, I guess like some, a lot of artists don't really open up about what they're going through. But on the back end, I feel like artists yeah. go through mass stuff with cop stuff, family stuff, just yeah. all that in general. So like, I guess now like, how do you decide for like who's your friends and who do you open up to versus who you should not like tell your business to because it might go left. I ain't gonna lie. Me come personally come from me. I feel like you should just keep it business. You feel me? Don't go out into the world trying to make friends. Like if somebody wanna be friends with you, that shit gonna come about, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. it's gonna come about through business or some shit like you feel me? It's gonna really happen. Like I don't really, really wake up and try to say like, Oh, I'm trying to go make some friends today, we out to the <laughs> to the bar or some shit like nah, like you feel me? You was trolling, you was like, I always had friends or I got friends. Like, like you would just be trolling the fans? I feel like it's yeah, it'd be cool to have a hundred friends and shit, but you really always by yourself, so I always just say make sure you know yourself before you try to go and figure out ninety nine other niggas. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And to you, in your eyes, I guess what are like three qualities that make somebody a friend? I ain't got loyalty. You gotta always like you gotta always have loyalty. Mm -hmm. Like three qualities, like I really I feel like loyalty is the only one for real, bro. Loyalty? Like you could do anything to me, bro. But if what? you was always loyal to me, bro, I, I'm know what's up, bro. Because without love, like without loyalty, you can't have love, bro. So if you loyal, bro, that's like the the root. The tree is gonna grow from there. You feel me? You might have made a mistake, but I see you loyal, so you made that mistake probably because you ain't know. You feel me? But it's different, bro. Loyalty for real. That's the only thing. Like you need to so be that's loyal. That's most bro. important. Most important. Fuck everything else, bro. Loyalty. So you'll deal with everything else. I deal with everything but if else. Loyal friend, you got anger issues. You could be retarded, nigga. <laughs> if you loyal to me and I could tell, I could feel that shit, bro. You good, bro? Oh. Feel me? That's fair. That's fair. Okay, and then um, so I don't know if you've seen like. Basically, we know Kim's locked up. Mm -hmm. Everybody thing is that you <laughs> told or whatever the case may be. But in your eyes, in your eyes, what is the definition of a snitch to you? Because I feel like people just tossed around that word and nobody really gets into, like, what it actually means. I ain't gonna lie. The what makes someone an actual, you know what I'm saying? A snitch is just like something you open your mouth, you spoke about something. Like, it, it could be written, it could be verbal. You feel me? There's no say-so what like what a snitch is. You feel me? Like, my... Coming from me, when you come into contact with the law, you shouldn't say nothing at all. Don't say nothing out your word. You don't have to say hi. You don't have to say nothing. Because you... Mm -hmm. They could just speak to your lawyer. You are that's your that's your your, your, that's your right, bro. You got you have the right to not say nothing. And people that goes over everybody's head. Like they don't never hear that part when they say it, but they hear everything else. So it's like you don't have to say nothing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like once you say something, bro, you're giving them like a reason to do something which leads to something else. Mm -hmm. And it's just like that's snitching, bro. You draw snitching, bro. Okay. If you're not snitching, you draw snitching. And then people try to, like, separate, separate like, oh, if you're a civilian, then you get the pass. Does that, does that count to you or not? I feel like if you're not into anything, then, fuck, you should be fear for your life. You feel me? You, that's what? that's different than being a snitch. Hmm. Like, for real. Okay. Like, like that. you're still a snitch in my eyes, whatever. But real shit, if you don't got <laughs> nothing to do with it, then you just, like, a witness or something calling the police or whatever. A snitch is something that know. Like, you went outside today and you know what you was putting yourself into, my nigga. And you went out there and just folded, bro. Like, that's a rap, bro. That's a snitch, bro. In the streets, bro. That's how I look at it, bro. If you ain't got nothing to do with this, bro, I ain't gonna be mad at no old lady for calling the police on somebody who just robbed her purse. She a snitch for that? Yeah. Like, that's come on. Like, I want people to get in Like, like nah. So, recently, Remy Ma had went on um, Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. And she was like, to her, a snitch is, even if you're a civilian and you're hanging out with criminals, and then you still tell, you're still a snitch. I mean, you know yeah. Yeah. Because you, now you... Because you know what you was Yeah, you know you're getting something yeah. to. You're doing that. Yeah, you're doing that. Yeah, definitely. But you were just a f civilian be living your regular life, mm -hmm. and some shit just happened to you, then you know I mean? you a civilian, nigga. So once you put yourself around criminals, and if you... You should already know what's coming with it. Like, there's no, like... You can't take that back. Like, you put yourself in that situation. Like, you should know, bro. Like, this is what comes with this. If this happens, if this happens, like, it's simple. I feel that. I feel like just, like, just separating it, I feel like, 
Yeah. You don't do that. You shouldn't be around people that do that. Yeah. And, and you should always know what the people you around doing. Yeah. Know what your friend is doing. Know what type of job he has. Know how he's getting his money. <laughs> like, know your friend, bro. You don't want to be like, oh, shit, I didn't know this guy was. You, feel me? Like, you don't want to be in that situation, bro, and you're an innocent person for real. So if you got friends, really make sure they're your friends, bro. Learn do you feel like it was ever any friends that you didn't know, like, they fit? Or like... Nah, I ain't gonna lie. If I called you my man's, I had to know you like your first name, last name, all that. Like, okay. I know your mom's. I I go to your grandma <laughs> to sign you for me. Like okay. word. Okay. And then um, getting into the music though, for real, for real. So like, as all this stuff is all as all this stuff is coming out, it takes time to I guess put it in a song. Yeah. Cause I know no jumper. You said before they was talking about naughty bop. They was in like the studio the same day. Yeah. And I know. You didn't make, like, a naughty bop, but you made the song Switching Sides. So, like, did you wait for, like, you know, stuff to happen before dropping that and and then taking it there? Or, like, how do you go about doing that? Um, I kind of just, I waited it out because yeah, I, what I... didn't see, like, what would happen? Yeah, what I noticed is, like, yeah, I was just basically trying to wait it out to see what would happen. Because, basically, I was cool with them when that shit happened, you feel me? Like, even when it, the moment, the day I happened, like, you feel me, I was cool with them. I didn't know what their intentions was doing, you feel me? Niggas ain't had no beef with them. And then I had heard some shit, and then I just cut ties with them at that because it's like, y'all putting me in a funny situation where now I got to choose niggas I don't know were over, like, where I was raised and my home base. Like, I just wasn't fucking with that, bro, and I just kind of cut ties with them niggas, bro. Okay. And then, like, so, and I guess because your manager was already there, you met 4-1, yeah. And that's kind of just how all that happened. Yeah. And then, but didn't you do a song with like JD or something? Yeah, I did a song with JD. I was just off the string for like, I just hit him up. Mm, I just hit him up. He was with it. He was trying to do it. He always, I always fucked with his music, like coming up in the Brooklyn sound. Like, mm -hmm. he was one of the niggas I always fucked with. So I just hit him up one day. I made that shit happen. We just did it. And really, I was cool with Boona. And Boona was already cool with him. So like, he kind of just made it happen. It was just like a fuck it, let's do it type of thing. I was born. You spoke to him lately. Yeah, he been good. He kind of just been staying low key. I've been telling him he got to push his music and just keep going. But my son, it's been a kind of like a whole breakdown because we was all rooted by somebody who is now his whole shifted attention is on these kids. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like we was there before them, mm -hmm. and it's like we just basically got shelf by the nigga. So we decided to part ways, and I both left both of us like, yo, what the fuck we about to do? Like I ain't know what to do. You feel me? I'm just going along with it, bro. I'm just trying still, bro. In that, did you like? What did you think was like gonna? I ain't gonna lie, real shit. Sometimes I, I ain't really want to tell myself this, but sometimes I be thinking that like, it'd be over for this shit. Like at least for me, I done been through so much ups and downs and shit. I didn't. Sometimes I be stuck and don't be knowing like how to bounce back. But then that's why I say thank you to my supporters and my fan base, cause like when I look at certain shit, it just makes me want to go harder. So it's like I can't. They counting on me, so I I gotta do this shit, bro. And what do you feel like you're missing to take your career to the next level? I ain't gonna lie to that computer, that label. Word, you I feel start. like a label right now. It's the only thing, bro. Because didn't you have a disho deal or something? I mean, but it was like... It was a small machine. You need a big machine? It wasn't really... It wasn't even brought to my, my like, fucking attention. Like, I didn't even know that. Like, niggas was just doing that shit. This is what I'm saying, nigga. Mm. It was fucking niggas over, bro. I ain't even know that. You feel me? Oh, bro? I didn't know you. Sorry. So... Mm -hmm. But um, so you so you really never got official label. Mm -hmm. No, I never signed. I never been. No, I never signed to no label. Okay. When I was with Fr, he partnership through them through him. Mm -hmm. So now it was like a whole thing there. Every artist out there was basically owed to do this and this and that. Like you feel me? I never went to no label and signed no nothing like you feel me? No, hell no. Okay, so. Is there, so moving forward, get, even getting into deals, do you know what kind of deal you kind of want now, learning the business, seeing how people are, and stuff like that? I ain't gonna lie, to be honest, it's a whole bunch of, it's a whole bunch of deals out there. I'm just, I want the best situation for me. Like, for me, I be seeing everybody else doing their little thing. I don't worry about that. For me, I just want something that's gonna benefit for me. For me, take my career from where it is now to the next level. Like, I'm not trying to. Be nobody's you for me. All this just on a label you for me. I need the best position for me to just accelerate. Like you for me. Do you feel like you would stay in New York, or you feel like you want to go somewhere else? Nah, I would move from New York. I ain't gonna lie. I already crazy or like far away. Nah, I already moved like 
fall, like a little fall from New York. So I'm going further now, like going Cali. to the West Coast, like type Cali, shit. Cali? Pop, yeah, Cali. I'm gonna fuck with Cali. I'll, I'll, go to, so I'll go to one of the states that nobody's going to even think I'll be there. Like, oh, like you talking some NBA and That ass. Some weird shit. They be like, oh, this nigga's there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, that's, that's crazy. So you, you don't think you'll miss New York, though? I would, but I'll always be there, you feel me? Flights in, back and out, you feel me? That shit ain't about nothing, but I ain't trying to lay my head there. That shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you would, like, come back to, like, shoot videos and stuff? Kind of like how TJ coming? Definitely, I ain't gonna lie, but that shit tricky because it's like now you got to protect everything that you worth. You worth a lot after that, after that point, so you got to protect everything. And how we go about it is, like, we got to do it regardless. It's not legal to do it, but it's like, shit, what the fuck, nigga? We going to just walk around here with a... All this shit on, all this shit niggas want, pull up in this type of car security, and everything. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, yeah, security, but. But, like, nah, you gotta still be safe. You gotta what still what be happened safe. when security not there? As I said, you gotta still be safe. But, um, so you definitely know you want that machine behind you. Yeah. Do you have any labels? Are you talking to labels right now? Or? Yeah, probably, yeah. A little bit, one, two. Mm-hmm. But I'm Anything not. Anything you like yet or still waiting? Mm-mm. Still okay. kind of trying to, like, you know, fill it out. I want to make the best decision. Like I said, for me, I notice a lot of people make bad decisions when they sign. So it's about just making the right decision, bro, because that's where you make a break as, like, an artist, you feel me? You could either go left or you could go right, bro, you feel me? I'm trying to go up. Um, In the um No Jumper interview, you said you're one of the pioneers of this shit. Facts. What makes someone a pioneer in your eyes? I ain't going to lie. Like, I've been here too long. Like, I've been here too. I've been here. I've been throughout everything. Like, I've seen everything from start to jump. Like, I can, I'm the one of those niggas where you could bring and you can get and tell about shit when drill was just starting. Like, what was this happening? This was here. It was there. Like, I'm one of those only niggas that's here now. Everybody is booked. God forbid that. You feel me? Like, but definitely, I feel like I've been here too long. Like, that's what makes you a pioneer. Like, I've been here from the start of it. I watched everything grow, go up. You feel me? I've just been seeing everything. So I, I I I think that like for Brooklyn we kind of got to see who the pioneers was you mm-hmm. know some of them was here to stay like Chef Sleepy yeah I mean too, too, some would say some would say not so I mm-hmm. feel like in the Bronx is re- I really want to see like who's really gonna keep this shit going through. yeah because it's like so many years to this shit people are forgetting like they f- just think about the momentary shit mm-hmm. like the, Dirk made a fucking he his career been so long now like yeah. look at him you feel me he's doing. Years. He's she doing, keeps had an anniversary. Like, it's been, like, 10 years mm-hmm. now. So. Like, people forget how long you could really do this shit. Like. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you definitely treating it more like a marathon and not like a race right now. Yeah, well, they, it's it's about who really going to do it in the long run. Y'all can have that little shit that y'all having now, the parties and shit y'all enjoying now, you feel me? Yeah. It's about the long run, for real. Okay. Okay. And then you definitely plan to stay for the long run. Um, do, But other sound-wise... So from drill, you're gonna try different sounds. What did you like R and B? Um, I feel like I would just keep rapping, but it would be over like sofa beats, and I would try to melodize a little bit more. You feel me? Try to fuck with them, just get my melodies a little better. Okay. You wouldn't try singing though. Mm mm. <laughs> not not throughout the whole song. I gotta rap a little bit. Okay, I like gotta rap a little bit. Drip bridges, maybe a little one twos. Maybe. Probably. I want to do some Jamaican shit too. Like I'll open up to doing that. Going to your roots, yes. Facts. Video in Jamaica or what? Nah, definitely. That'd be fire. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Okay, so moving forward, 2023, what's your plan to do? I ain't gonna lie, just to stay motivated and just to keep going. Because, like, last year I fully I noticed, like, I was kind of, like, doubting myself a little bit. You feel me? So I just plan to stay motivated, like, Sit regardless. Time, last year I was just, like, I don't know, I was slacking and just I kept getting doubtful. So I just planned this year. To stay motivated, like, throughout whatever I go through, you feel me? Ups and downs, if it's bad, I just got to know I got to keep pushing you, feel me? It's going to happen. Okay. And, um, but, like, moving forward, though, how do you, so, like, being an artist, it's ups mm. and downs. Yeah. How do you, I guess, stay clear-headed? Does the team help you with that? Or you got people you're talking to now? Or? Definitely a team. You definitely got to, for me, have a team behind you that's going to help you throughout shit like that. Family always, you feel me? Certain people got friends, good friends they can reach out to, but I would say just use the people you could talk to, you feel me? Somebody always needs somebody to talk to. If it's your girl or whatever, you feel me? 
talk to her, you feel me? You just always got to let that shit out, you feel me? Regardless, you might be drunk, high, whatever. Let that shit out, bro. That shit got to come out. Not on the internet to your friend. Yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, even, um, even dating. Because remember when we was doing D&D, you had a girlfriend. Yeah. Are you single now? What's the status like? Ah, it's complicated. That's all I say. It's complicated right now. Facts. So, like, are you skeptical with dating because you're a rapper and you're so popular and, like, you know? Definitely, I feel like people be kind of wanting me for the rapper image, but you just got to read people out, you got to see them out, you got to fill them out, you feel me? See what they really here for, test them a couple of times, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Real shit, gangsta. Uh, do you think you'll get into, like, the posting? Because I know, like, Booba and Rella, they made them a thing. And, like, Shadi posted this girl for, like, a week and never again. That's what I'm saying. So, like... It works out, like, if you know you locked in with your girl, I right, about to get married or some shit, all right, post it, you feel me? But if you know this is just a girl you just picked up, you trying to show her off, don't do that, bro, because somewhere is out there with a nigga with more than you or exactly what she likes in you 20 times, bro, more. Like, you feel me? Like, it's just weird, like, the way they go about it. And then you put it on the internet, now everybody looking at your girl, bro. They can swipe up. They can go to her gram. They can DM her, like, ooh, I, baby, hit me up. Like, it's just crazy, nah. So you not having access to your girl, I guess, is how you... Yeah, I feel like you show her, but you show her, like, discreetly, like, take her on a trip, post her feet or some shit. You feel me? Like, don't post her face, bro. No, you could let people know you got a girl, but don't let them know who it is. Okay. Facts. So, do you feel like you're going to do that for, like, if if you do, you're going to not let them know who it is for a long time? Yeah, I ain't so going like, lie. out the hood? You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, till I'm, like, gone, probably, like, gave up drill, like, trying to start my own label, let the other niggas do drill. Or, or would it be, like... How long y'all been locked in? Yeah, it definitely the matters on that too. Like we have to been locked in for a long time because I I want to know like when I post you like you ain't going nowhere, bro. Y'all young, so like what's a long time? Not a couple months. Nah, like a couple years. Probably like five years minimum. Okay, five years long. Five years long. Five years long. Okay, so but do you see? But like, do you see yourself like getting married though? Yeah, I wouldn't oh, say she got to sign a prenup. I ain't gonna lie, she got to sign a prenup. Is she willing to sign a prenup? I signed one too, you feel me? I don't want nothing from you. But, you feel me? Is she willing to sign a prenup? Nah, yeah, I'll do it. If she, I feel like she's the right one. But if she's not willing to sign a prenup, it's not happening. No way. And I'm, I'm going to make sure the state we do it in is right in my favor. Let's go. <laughs> we ain't going to no state and get married where it's in your favor because I've been doing my research, bro. Well, how the girls be getting money? They yes. done put up with all y'all cheating ass and all of that. So, yeah. But if you know a nigga cheat, don't marry him. I'm trying to marry him because something <laughs> else. I don't know. Oh, don't so marry you him. think they already had that plan? Yes. Jeez. Yes. Not There's no point of like doing that. that. Like, if, you mar- if you're if marrying somebody, like that, if you marry somebody, if you marry somebody, you should know, like, I want to spend the rest of my life with them. Nothing should change that. Like, if you know he's a cheater and you're about to marry him, like... Him cheating on a girl when y'all married shouldn't matter because you know that you knew what you were doing. You married this guy. Because niggas act like they done cheating, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, you know damn, what I mean? bro. So it's like, niggas is bro. Black men don't cheat, bro. Black oh, men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. So we you always, never cheated. All right. So black men do cheat. And if he's a cheater, leave him. Basically, that's what you're I was saying. a boy when I cheated. <laughs> you heard me? <laughs> I was a boy when I cheated. I'm a man now, so I ain't no. No. But now the prenup is crazy. Now, because I feel like a lot of young people feel like it's not no love out here. It's yeah. People just using, it's gold digging. So I'd be curious to see, like, do y'all really see ourselves, like, settling down? The more you go through, like, those type of people, you're going to start to figure out what you want and what you need, like, what you feel you really need. So when you come across it, you're going to know, bro. Like, you're going to know. There's no if, ands, and buts. Like, you're going to feel it. Like, when you come across it, it's going to be a whole different feeling because you done ran through, like, 100, 200 girls that you know you don't want already, so you know what you're looking for. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're going to play a game called This or That. I'm going to say two artists. You just pick one that you feel like is better. Music-wise, okay. only music. Okay? Uh, or it might be a platform. You say which one you feel like is better. You uh, can explain why if you want to. All uh, right. Okay, so this or that, Kanye or Jay-Z? Kanye. And why? I don't know. I just like him personality-wise, music-wise. I, I feel like Jay-Z sucks. It's fine. I'm sorry. I'm from Brooklyn, so that was really like a bit much. I like like two songs with Jay-Z, but he was Jay-Z like, is lyrically nice, His bro. features are good, I ain't gonna lie. His features are good. 
But every song by itself, that shit's ass. I'm sorry. That's just whack. <laughs> that's it, whack. That's it, so, whack, But bro. Kanye, you like the what? The I like every Kanye song like that. You like that. him because he's spontaneous. <laughs> I think everybody like Kanye. He hit them with surprises. Like, yeah, like, you don't know what he coming with. He might hop on. He just hopped on. What well, he did something with Favi. Like, nobody expected that. Mm-hmm. Like, that was fire, bro. If, like, nobody expected that. That's crazy. But, Jay, even the businessman he is, how what he's doing, Barclay Center, like, I mean, yeah, I, we ain't I, about to say he dirty. Don't do that. But, like, you know. Yeah, but, but I, I was talking about music wise, though. Yeah, yeah music wise, Kanye I don't. Kanye is better. Yeah, We're not I don't. We're going to say Jay is dirt. We're going to say he's your favorite Kanye. Yeah, all right. Okay, Lil, um, Lil Wayne or Drake? Lil Wayne. Okay. Because, definitely because, like, the way I like music. I don't know. Drake is more slow tempo, you feel me? He's, like, for the girls and, you know, soft music, light-skinned people, you feel me? Lil Wayne come fast, like, because he, the cadence he's, like, that's what is where I'm learning from, like, the speed of his rapping, like, shit inspired me, bro. Like, shit fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Pharrell or Timbaland? Timbaland. Okay. Can't go wrong with the Tims. Come on, we from New York. Everybody loves Tims. Oh, I'm talking about the producers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know who Pharrell is? Yeah, Pharrell Williams, the one that makes yes. the human races. Yeah. He got the sneaker, right? Yeah, he got the sneaker, but he also a producer. I never heard none of his. None of yes, his. Yes, you did. Who? Oh my God! Forget who, it. What's his shit? One. What's his? What? He, pro- he produced like, like. Fergie and like mad people. I didn't know though. I never knew though. I never bro, knew. Y'all need music education. Mm, I never bro. knew. I ain't gonna lie. I never knew. Music education for y'all youngins, bro. I never knew That's he was crazy, a beat maker. Bro. <laughs> Sheesh. All right. Chicago drill, New York drill. New York drill. Um, XX or Juice World? Damn. That's hard as fuck. Juice World. I just like the way I started doing music. I was freestyling too, and I always like see like videos about Juice with freestyling and shit. Like that nigga was crazy talented at doing it. That shit, like he would just sit there and just go on and on about that shit. That was fire. Kenzo B or Kenzo Bola? <sighs> music wise, Kenzo Bola, for sure. Okay. Um, about that. Scissor or Summer Walker? Summer Walker. D thing or U G's? Use these. Shy care or be love? Be love. Backwards or duchess? <sighs> Damn, that's hard too. Backwards though. I like backwards. I like backwards. Ice spice or lotto? Ice spice. <laughs> <laughs> no jumper or academics? Mm, no jumper. For sure. Oh, you just ain't academic fucking jumper. Uh, yeah, academics. I, I ain't gonna lie. Academics be doing some weird shit. Mm mm. No comment. A Swayze or please don't lack. Swayze. Yeah, I like how Swayze discreet with it. To me, ain't let nobody know who. He is. Please don't lack is discreet too, but I I kind of figured them out already. Okay, black work this year or last year? This year for sure. This year for sure. Definitely. All right. So tell people where to find you. Where to find you. I can find me. I'm on every platform with it. My Instagram block underscore work fifty eight. Y'all can find me everywhere with it, man. We outside.